reaction uh, we are still in a superposition of basic plane potential flow uh, which is in chapter 2 so in previous lecture uh, uh, we learn how to uh, come up with the solution for uh, superp superposition of basic and plain potential flow where we combine the uniform flow and source okay so that uh, the combination between uniform flow and source will produce what we call a superposition of half half plane okay so the body is half uh, or the 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 superposition if is uh, for the combination of uniform flow and source will produce that half body okay and then from uh, that previous lecture uh, we have identified how to determine the velocity at any point of the any point of the body which is uh, defined based on velocity okay and then uh, since it, we are still in basic, uh, we are still in uh, plane potential flow. We can also uh, use uh, Bernoulli equation in order to find the pressure different. Okay, and then for the next uh, basic, uh, uh, for the next superposition uh, of uh, plane potential flow, we have a combination between uh, a uniform flow. plus uh, equal uh, strength the strength of uh, source and sink okay so basically uh, for the equal strength of source and sink uh, we have uh, uh, studied before in previous lecture uh, where we, uh, when the when source and sink uh, approach one another or approach zero so it is called a doublet okay but uh, you have don't uh, you have to bear in mind that source and sink uh, not uh, 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 produce a doublet if it is not approach uh, not approaching one one another okay so for this uh, uniform flow plus equal strength of source and sink so this is uh, you can see for the source and sink let's say you have equal strength for source is positive m and then sink is negative m okay so this is equal strength uh, you have theta 1 you have theta for the r and then theta 2 for the source Okay, and then in order to find the psi or the stream function uh, for this combination, the psi for the uniform flow, which is u r sine theta, which is u y, y is r sine theta, uh, plus we have uh, negative uh, m over two pi theta one. Theta one is for the sin minus theta, theta two. Okay, so this is how to find the psi uh, uh, for the for this combination. Okay. And then for the same goes for velocity potential, we can determine the velocity potential for this combination, which is u r cos theta minus m over two pi ln r one uh, minus ln ln r two. Okay, and then um, this can be simplified. Basically, we can simplify uh, that equation. Okay, so this is uh, for uh, ur sin theta for the uniform flow okay m over 2 pi tangent inverse 2 ar sin theta uh, divided by r square minus a a square okay so basically this is uh, uh, in the last this equation is obtained in the last part of the uh, basic plane potential for the source and source and sink okay and then uh, we can uh, simplify r r because uh, so this is uh, R uh, this is theta ok so basically uh, R sin theta is y so this is y 
this is x so r y equal to r sine theta okay and then uh, r square equal to x square plus y y square okay so that's why from here we can uh, simplify r sine theta equal to y ui minus m over 2 pi tangent inverse to a r sine theta to y and then r square equal to x square plus y square minus a a square okay so this is after we simplify the equation for basic uh, psi or stream function for this combination of uniform flow and uh, source and sink that uh, consists of equal strength okay let's move to the uh, next slide okay so uh, this combination between the uh, combination between uniform flow okay uniform flow and source and sink will come out with this kind of body okay so if uh, in previous lecture for the half body combination between uniform flow and source will only produce half body which is only at this stage okay half body but now uh, if we combine the uniform flow and source uh, and sink that uh, have an equal strength so we will come up with a full body okay so this uh, shape basically like an oval shape so that's why we call it as a rank kind oval for this type of combination okay so uh, as usual we can set the streamline the streamline is always constant and then for at streamline equal to zero this will be uh, will be uh, form a close a close body okay and then uh, from the cent from the origin to the st uh, for this case you will, will we will uh, identify two stagnation point okay stagnation point at this uh, at the upstream okay stagnation point at this point at the upstream and then stagnation point at this uh, downstream okay two stagnation point and then this is a uh, width of the rank in this shape for the the oval and then uh, we can identify we can obtain this h okay uh, where uh, at x equal to zero and lambda uh, psi equal to zero uh, y equal to h so we can identify uh, this uh, how to identify width of this body and then for the length for the half body length so it also can be identified in uh, previous uh, in the next uh, slide okay and then okay so for this red kind of oval this streamline this is this streamline can be assumed uh, uh, as forming the surface of body length of 2L okay? 1L this is another L which is 2L and then width of 2H uh, placed in a uniform uniform stream coming stream so this uh, uh, kind of combination uh, are named as a Rankine oval okay? so this is Rankine oval So stagnation point uh, occur at the upstream and downstream. Okay, so upstream and downstream, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, this point can be located by determine the uh, by determine where not the, oh, by determine where the velocity equal to zero along the x axis. Okay, so the stagnation point will be obtained when we where where we can define by identify the velocity where the velocity equal to zero along the x axis okay what kind of velocity so uh, the stagnation point correspond to the points where the uniform velocity okay uniform velocity the source velocity and the sink velocity are all combined and give a zero velocity okay when you combine all that velocity and give a zero velocity it is where we can uh, locate it. we can locate it, the stagnation uh, when where we can locate the stagnation stagnation point okay so now uh, based on this figure we need to know how to identify this length 
and also how to identify this uh, width of this body okay so uh, to identify L uh, the location of the stagnation point depend on the value of A okay A is a value between the a distance between the origin to the source and sink uh, point okay and then M is strength of the source and sink and then U is the coming velocity uniform velocity and then the half body length can be expressed as this equation L equal to MA divided by pi U plus A square and then it is a square root so this is how to determine uh, value of L for the rank kind oval or we can uh, describe in terms of L over A L over A which is a point or distance between origin to the source point which is equal to MA uh, divide by pi u a plus 1 and then square root so this is uh, uh, for to determine length for the half half body for this rank kind of, for this oval shape and then to determine h okay so the body half width which is h can be obtained by determine uh, by uh, determine the value of y where the y exists inter intersect intersect and not interest intersect with uh, where y is intersect with the uh, body where the streamline equal to zero so that's why uh, to, to obtain h uh, it, it can be obtained at this point basically at the center of the oval so it at the origin so at this point we can set y equal to h x equal to 0 and then uh, uh, psi equal to 0 for the for the body for the closed body okay so by setting all this value this is equal to 0 y equal to h and then x equal to 0 so we will come up with this equation for h Okay, so h equal to h square minus a square over 2a tangent to pi uh over over m. Okay, or we can identify uh, we can simplify based on the ratio of width over a h over a which is half h uh, a square uh, minus one tangent to uh, pi u a m uh, h over over a. Okay. So basically, uh, this uh, for the Rankine oval, uh, we our our interest is to find the value of this uh, half body length and also width. Okay. So by uh, by this by using these two equation, so we can determine h and also uh, this l. Okay. So yes, this is the equation. Uh, both equation uh, show that. L over A and H over A are function of dimensionless parameter which is uh, you have pi, U, A and uh, M okay and then uh, so basically this is uh, a typo this is no A here m pi u a plus one half and then uh, for this equation it is correct okay so this is uh, so for both equation basically you have this uh, constant m or dimensionless parameter of m or pi u a over over m for both equation okay and then l over a can be determined uh, directly however h over a H over A must be determined based on uh, trial and error method. Okay, so uh, based on this figure, basically uh, for the full body for the Rankine oval, uh, uh, when the flow, the stream, uh, uniform flow passing through this body, there will be um, adverse pre uh, pressure region uh, at the downstream of this body. Okay, so this adverse pressure region. 
uh, will produce a very low pressure and then uh, the separation will uh, happen uh, around uh, this uh, downstream of this body okay so we can also that uh, if uh, the full body however for for the for this uh, uh, basic or for the plane potential flow uh, this uh, the separation cannot be obtained based on the uh, plane potential flow or superposition of plane potential flow okay